So, today we're gonna build something. Down here. Let me give some wind to this thing here. B roll. Good morning, hun. Hey, babe. <laughs> Are you vlogging? Yes, I am. You wanna be in the vlog today? <laughs> I would love to be in the vlog today, hun. Sounds awesome. Feels like there's something on there. Maybe it's the sun. Oh, yeah, it was the sun. So we are building the day bed right now, ish. Yeah, it's been a project for how long? Oh, it's been like a year and a half, two year project. The whole boat's been a 10 year project. Yeah. Every year it just gets better. Serious questions here. Babe, what angle do you want to chill at on this thing? Why don't we cut it down here and then we can play with the angle. Yeah. That looks really good though. Let's do it. Yeah. Perfect. It's supposed to be in the right angle, huh? So we're missing a drill, so we gotta go to a new location to borrow a screw gun. Hopefully this battery works. That's what we're looking at. What do you think? Good. Nice. We just want this thing to work, right babe? Yeah. We're building something, that's the most important thing. Totally. That's six feet and that is 71 inches. Definitely not perfect, but good enough. Perfect. perfect. Success there. Now we just need to go find a staple gun to make it more awesome. Can we go and have lunch first? That's a good okay. idea. Swing it to lunch? Yeah, do it. Wait, you're already eating? <laughs> Looks good though, babe. Gosh, look at that. She looks so good right now. What? You me? look so good right now, 86. Yeah. I mean, Lynn. Boom. This is what we have because we don't have any cushions. Maybe we'll get cushions later or next year, but at least this will be better than nothing. Oh, that's super nice and yeah. cozy. Super soft. And we can play golf on it and soccer. <laughs> totally. That's much cooler than a soft day bed. Sometimes you just need to, how do you say, harden the f up. There's a sweet video about that online. Maybe we'll put it like here. This is Anthony. He owns a big, shiny four-wheel drive, but he doesn't know how to change a tire. Harden the f up, Anthony. <laughs> and then go right down to there. Here? Yeah, like that. Perfect. Perfect. It's not gonna get perfect. That looks nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Nice? I think it's nice. Yeah. Yes! Are we done? We're done. Oh no, we still have the American flag. One more crucial item. Oh wow. The final touch. The final screw. Ooh, I'm gonna fall in. Oh boy. Drive on. Struggle. Thank you. It looks like it needs something. Yeah, it's not going all the way in because we didn't drill it on the other side. Perfect. I'd say we built something. 
What do you think of the day bed, babe? It looks money. It looks really nice. Okay, you want to lay down for a second? Yeah. So I can get flopped in the face with that thing. Perfect. Some shade. So nice. We don't need this. We need that for shade. Oh, and it's like giving me some air, too. Awesome. I'd say we built something. Oh, that's so nice. Gosh, it's like pretty soft. The build is complete and um, we're gonna go clean this thing up. And then give a proper boat tour. Nice, and that'll end up being tomorrow. See you guys. Camera's rolling. Oh, just cruising on the 86er. Yeah. Greatest motor yacht ever built. <sighs> to the day bed. It looks amazing. Does, doesn't it? It actually yeah. turned out really nice. I'm surprised how big it is. So Mr. America, tell us more about this boat. Uh, right after I'd been second and third at US Nationals, I had some prize money to blow, so I wanted to find a pontoon boat and like tear the whole thing apart and build something amazing. And that's what this is. This is what the boat looked like when I bought it. Some people didn't think that it was gonna turn into anything amazing, but you see that and you're like, oh my God, this is gonna be special, right? So it's eight or nine years. And the funny thing is everyone like comes by and tries to jump on like these kids earlier. You guys wanna go down the slide? Yeah! What, what awesome! <laughs> Send it! What did you think of the slide though? It's I liked it. It was sick. See ya. That just happened. Yeah, it's like endless. The second you get on this boat, your attitude completely changes. You can be having an awful day and it's like, boom, amazing. Let's just go through it. It started out 24 feet long and then we didn't have enough flotation. So we put the middle pontoon in the middle to, and it went from 24 to 26. And then we added the flotation on the back because it submarined a little bit. Sweet background here for you. Yes, babe. Yes, sweet background indeed. Woo! So then we added uh, these rear side pontoons, these ones here, like right this extension. And then this past year, we moved the engine way back here. It used to be like right there. Okay, we did this so we could get, so do you see all this work back here? That was all done by my buddy Richie. What do you think of your boat? Dude, it looks amazing. To put this pontoon back in with a bigger, newer engine. This bar, my buddy Ryan Welch, he's like, I have this perfect tree for your bar. So he cut a tree down and then gave me this, but we didn't quite nail the measurements. Yeah, that happened. That has a missing piece. This is the bartending area. And then this is where the amps are. This is where I sit. I'm gonna show you. So we were super low budget. These are trash cans or planters, I forget which. We got a couple of these seats, but we haven't gotten like the swivel set up yet. That's maybe next summer. It's actually so much nicer than this. And of course you need an umbrella because it gets really hot and sunny out here on the lake. And then the water slide. And we used to have a fitness pole up here. A strip pole. A fitness, of course. Yeah, it got a little rusty, so no one really wanted to spin around on that thing. Yeah. And we realized it wasn't elevated enough. It yeah. like wasn't center stage, so I think that's why people didn't really yeah. embrace it. Or it's just awkward to have a strip pole on the lake. Okay, babe, make it wet. Oh yeah, babe. It's actually really steep. Okay, are you ready? Pull me in, dog. Oh god. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> have you kick the camera underwater. The Benny one is gone forever. What happened though? I was taking that cool thumbnail picture of you, jumped up, landed on it, and then pushed it to the side. It went plunk, I dove in, couldn't get it. We went down the slide, underwater, Lynn does the kick, dance around. That sucks. But now we can kick the camera again. Yes, you ready? It yes. just won't be underwater, and it just won't be totally awesome. 
Rest in peace.